drinking coffee, and I have, I've honestly thought about this episode. This is God's honest truth. I have thought about this forever. As soon as we started doing this, we started having people come yeah. on. This is my very good friend, Lane Phillips. Lane um, is a fantastic harmonica player. And so if you're watching this, we're going to have a moment where, in this video, where you give like some tips on how to play I really harmonica look forward to it, and all that. Yeah. But first of all, I want to introduce you to Lane, and I also want to tell you as a word of caution, there is no way that we're going to stay on task in this conversation. <laughs> I want to apologize right up front. <laughs> this is going to meander. This you may be a three car, boat, or guitar, or anything. Exactly, it's going to be a three hour long episode. <laughs> Okay, Lane, so before we get to how we met, you have played with Hank Williams Jr. and Leroy, Leroy Parnell, yeah. Sammy Kershaw, uh, Rick Trevino, Tracy Bird, uh, Merle Haggard. Um, um, one of my real good, good friends was down there, it's uh, Chris Wyatt. He's a, a writer now uh, in Nashville. Uh, he was living in Arkansas at that time, and we was working for Pure Sound Studios. I was doing session work over there, met him. He goes by the, the name uh, Chris, Chris uh, Wyatt is his name, is his stage name. And um, well, there's some stuff on YouTube whether you can check out some of the shows. It was uh, back when I had hair, I was a little prettier than I am now. But, uh. <laughs> well, so um, right now, um, just so you know, Quartz and Coffee folks, um, it's a diverse bunch. And, and uh, my hope today is through you and I talking that you will be encouraged. Amen. But also um, there's, you know, you have, you have a, a life of um, getting out there, doing the deal, feeling like, man, I've, I've made it. And then, you know, and yeah. my, my life has been like that too. Yeah. There's been times where I feel like, oh man, this is happening. This band is doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. And then it doesn't. And then it doesn't. Yeah. And I, I want to specifically for you and I to encourage that person. Amen. Who is watching this right now, who is like, man, that's great. And I, I, I don't know that I'll ever have a chance like I had before yeah. again. Yeah. And you might. And yeah, in fact, amen. I want to encourage you. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, um, how did you start playing harmonica? I mean, you're a big guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Smallest instrument on the stage. Was I'm it always... just the easy load in? Was that what? Believe it or not, I was a drummer with a, a band called Whiskey River. Interesting. I met him in Jeff City. Um, uh, J.D. and D. Wyatt, uh, he wrote a couple songs that kind of went, you know, they, we, we played a lot of the B circuit. But I was a drummer at that time, and I had real long moccasins, and I had Indian black hair down in the middle of my back. I kept braided back. I know, it's hard to believe. Thin guy. <laughs> and uh, anyway, um, where was I going with that? Anyway, J.D. was, uh, I was playing drums, you know. And uh, when J.D. found out I played harp, he said, man, why don't you put a harp into the show, you know? And as far as really playing out, I mean, I played with Grandpa George. Um, he was Gallopin' George Phillips was a National Hall of Famer. That's my grandfather. Um, he played with Leroy Van Dyke. And uh, I mean, I remember seeing Leroy and Grandpa sitting there eating breakfast at the kitchen table. And Grandpa's getting onto me because I'm sneaking under his bed to get out his guitar to play. But they gave me a harmonica. And man, I drove him crazy with that. Uh, <laughs> You know. Do you remember what your first harp was? And by the way, uh, harmonica and harp are synonymous. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm bad. Yeah, yeah harmonica. No, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a marine band. Was a it a, just a wood reed, you know, a, a wood comb a marine band harp, C harp. Yeah. I suggest C would be a good, good one to start on. Um, I prefer a cross style harp, and we'll get into this later in the show, I'm sure, but uh, a lot of people want to play straight or a polka style straight. Uh, mm -hmm. I like a cross style. I like the blues. Um, I like incorporating blues licks into the country music. Yeah, one, one thing that you do, and every time we've ever played together, um, a while back we did an episode on a dominant seven tonal center, and yeah. we talked about how in a dominant seven tonal center you can have the major third and the minor third. And um, it, so if you think about, you know, for those of you who are like, for example, John Mayer at the end of yes. Gravity when yes. he's playing, he'll go into a G minor pentatonic over a G major, a G major chord. Now Lane, when he's playing, a lot of times, I almost want to use the word force. Yeah, I force it. Yeah, but, but <laughs> a, a lot of times, though, I, I was, I was going to say you coax it. You coax it. He co he'll coax that kind of feel out. And, and really, the trick is subtly getting there. Just getting the bend and, and getting into that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And forcing what, the note. Exactly, You're forcing the note. Exactly. Well, in fact, I mean, we're just going to, since we're just admittedly going to meander this whole time. So just as a, for example. You're doing that in an E. Well, I'll tell you, let's do a G. And let's do, show them what a straight G sounds like. And, and so this would be, you go to the music store and you buy a, a G harmonica, right? Yeah. 
And by the way, what do you like as far as harmonica? Uh, I like to play the Horner Special 20. Um, and you can get these in all the keys that you need. I would suggest starting with three harps, probably. Do me a favor, too. Anybody that really wants to get into harp that, or harmonica, they always ask me, they say, Elaine, what's the best way to start? Your best way to start, I'd get a, a C, a G, and a, and a, and a D. The reason for that is you'll play straight style on your C and G, and on that D, if you ever do want to try to start getting into that cross style mode, a D is a good one. Uh, they'll play a lot of blues. Just played E and A, so yeah. you play cross to that. So when when you say cross, yes. and we'll show that here in a second, um, that actually that's your dominant seventh thing. But for right now, let's show him what a straight G sounds like. So he's playing a G harp. I'm playing pretty stuff in G. <laughs> I mean that that invokes kind of Willie Nelson. Yes. Kind of, yes. Yeah. And the same harmonica. If I were to play something that was more E minor-y, because of the G E minor relative major relative minor relationship would work too. Yeah. I swore I had that turned off. <laughs> People are calling in already, asking <laughs> questions about which harmonica do I use. Let me turn that thing <laughs> off. Oh, that was my agent. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Well, ain't don't give away all your secrets. What are you saying that for? You still got the instructional video coming out. <laughs> okay, so like, for example, so if I'm playing like an E minor. Yes. Same harp. Yeah. So on and so forth. So that all makes sense. But then if I want to play blues in G. Now you're talking about harmony. You're talking about harp. This is what they call the cross harp. Yes. And so which harp do you grab? If you're that? in that G, I'm going to be in a C. Right. So what that really speaks to, and if you're thinking about, man, I always wanted to learn to play harmonica. And we'll talk about some of the actual techniques that he's using in a second. But what's happening is, is C um, if you think about why a C harp works, it's like, okay, what you're really after is G mixolydian, which yes. G is the fifth it's, it's of fifth. what? Yeah. yeah, it's the fifth of C. And so another way to think about it is cross harp is a fourth away. Does that make sense? If not, comment below and I'll talk you through it. But it has a totally different feel to it. So same thing. So even if I play like a slower thing, Instantly, Southern rock ballad. Very much. And obviously, you know, an up-tempo blues kind of thing. And we'll do yeah. some more of that in a second. So you play with, you said that you started playing harp with this band down in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And then you're playing drums before then. And obviously, you had a good night yeah. playing harp. Yeah. And, they, and so then at that point, were they like, hey. Play you, harp. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I was getting, I was getting, I, was, I wanted more out of my music. First of all, I do play guitar. Yes, you, and, by uh, way, this is Lane's guitar. <laughs> Nate sold it to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Hey, my dad hey. you. <laughs> right. uh, I love the Palin family. They're, they're my heart. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, I, I wanted to be I wanted to be in the front. I was always the back guy. Uh, with the Lane sisters, they taught me as a young boy how to sing. Was, that, was that your family? That's my family. Okay. Um, they had the Lane sisters were my five my, well my four aunts and my mother, and um, matter of fact, I won my first competition at a talent school, and and I was in uh, third fourth grade. 
Huh. And I had the line sister back and I really cheated. <laughs> but I won. <laughs> singing or what were you doing? I was singing. That's cool. Yeah. And, uh, but they taught me five-part harmony. I mean, uh, that's where my ear is, man. I can, they can hit something singing. I'll know, I'll know every harmony part. You think I can hit something singing? I do. I've heard you sing, my brother. It's okay. <laughs> it's not my point. Anyway, so, so, you're, so you're, you're playing in Arkansas. You start playing harp. And then what led to some of these next gigs that you started uh, getting? I was actually, and I got a little ahead of myself there. I started, you know, I played harp around here with a, a band called Desert Creek Band. Uh, that's how I got. I had come through Columbia, Missouri. I was playing at a club called The Ranch House, uh, you know, behind the cage. And uh, <laughs> fun, fun time, you know. Uh, anyway, this guy was coming through, was out there. He was eating his meal and having a drink, and we were playing. And he gave me a card. He said, hey, man, you ever interested in coming to Nashville? And, 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 and I'd, like to, I'd like, you know, an opportunity to hear you play. So he gave me the card to John Fisher. He's called The Fish. The Fish in Nashville, they say. So I went down there to do the audition. I didn't, you know, realize who it was for. I didn't know. I just knew that I was going to go down and audition. And uh, I was playing at that time with Dale Sapp. He's, our, he's died of cancer, bless his heart, but phenomenal guitarist. Closest I've ever heard to play Dale is Nate. I mean, these Actually, guys are monsters. Uh, his son, Ryan. Yes. His son, the, Ryan, is a monster player. Ryan, if you're watching this, God bless you. Love you, you Ryan. Yeah. I've known that boy since he was little. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me all worked up on that. Uh, I know, I know. So, <laughs> so, you're, so you go into an audition, and you don't even know who it's for. No. Okay. Um, Dennis Beatty took me up there, drove me up to Nashville. And, of course, I'm nervous at up. I won't tell you how I'm nervous I am because Nate told me this was a GP show. But <laughs> PG or a GP. PG, yeah. PG yeah. LD. It's an LD show. <laughs> Low down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you're in this audition, and they're like... They said, uh, Mr. Fish will see you now. So you so you don't even know who you're playing for? They, no. they've, they've, they've I'm just going to go up and show this guy. Shanghai you to Nashville. I'm the new thing in Nashville. There's no harmonica players in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I went in and uh, knocked on the door and went in there. And here's Mr. Fisher, and he's behind his desk, and he says... Uh, I hear you play harmonica. I said, yes, sir, I do. He says, you're pretty good. And I said, yes, sir. He's got, I'm trying to be confident, right? And uh, he says, all right. So um, play me the Canadian National Anthem. And he went back down to writing in his book while I'm sitting there going. Which is something you never thought you would ever hear in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, Canada. I mean, how does that go? You know? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, by the way, we love Canada. Yes, we do. Thinking about you, Alex. There's a guy <laughs> watching from Canada. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, I look up. Or yeah. He looks up and he goes up. Son, are you going to play? I said, Mr. Fisher, I don't know that song. He goes, thank you. And hmm. dismissed me. Well, I stepped out of the room. If you ever want to see a 20-year-old man start the ball, I mean, I was like, Beatty goes, what, what'd you do? I said, well, he told me to play Canadian National Anthem. So I went back in. He said, go back in there and play. So I went in there. He says, you're going to play? So I just played. And I, I won a, uh, I didn't win. I, I made the tour. Terry McMillan was doing, playing harmonica for his show. And Terry McMillan was going through appendicitis. He could no longer do the show. I picked up a, a seven-state, 15-city tour with Hank Jr. With Hank Williams Jr. Yeah. That's and, awesome. Uh, the night and I you didn't even know that. No. Yeah. Mr. Fisher told me that night, we was at Billy Bob's in Fort Worth, Texas. And I said, Mr. Fisher, why'd you do that to me? And he goes, son, if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. And other than Jesus, that's, a, that's I've stuck to that my whole deal. Yeah, I want to circle back to what you just <laughs> said, but that's a nugget right there. You know, what's interesting is that you said yes to an opportunity that you didn't know the full ramifications. I did not of. know what was coming. Yeah. And so sometimes in my life, I've found there's things that I felt like I needed to do it. And I showed up, and I didn't even know what was on the other side of the door of opportunity, but I knocked anyway. Sometimes we have to reach out in faith. I yeah. believe that with yeah, everything yeah. in me, because if yeah. you don't, I had so many people tell me, Lane, you don't want to go to Nashville. You know how many harmonica players are in Nashville? Well, sure. They were right. all trying to talk me out of it, you yeah, know? There's, pro there's probably two less than the amount of guitar players. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, and I appreciate you being bold with your faith, too. And, uh, I, and I know that's part of the story. Without Christ, I couldn't be here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So after Hank Jr., and you said seven? Seven states, 15 cities, country 15, boy can't survive. That, wow, tour. what a tour. And I'm sure that was wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then after that, what happened? Um, I decided after that tour, I come off the road. Uh, I was strung. Um, cocaine had gotten me into a lot of trouble. Went back to Nashville. I needed to dry out. And uh, so... Uh, I admit myself into a rehab and uh, had to get off the off the drugs. Uh, mm -hmm. Went back, ended up. Uh, Don and I had uh, at that time had, had moved back uh, to Missouri. 
Long story short, we ended up into a divorce, and uh, I won't tell you the reason why, but anyway, I had to get out of Missouri, court ordered. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got a little bit of a, my Marine Corps come out in a bad situation, and I was court ordered to leave the state. So I mm. wound up down in Arkansas, and I run into uh, Chris White. He got me a gig over at Pure Sound Studios. I started doing session work there, mm -hmm. and that's how I run into these other players, uh, all these other artists. Uh, a lot of them come through there, and uh, mm -hmm. I'd pick up gigs. Yeah, and, and so you ended up playing with, um, let's see. Uh, Rick Dredel, Sammy Kershaw. Yeah. Um, uh, Leroy Parnell, P. Roy. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, um, I mean, it was just, it was a highlight. Um, I can't believe how God has blessed me. I always wanted to be the guitar player that Nate is. I always wanted to, you know, I'm the his, I'm the guitar player. But no, I'm the guy who played the harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> well, but also, um, there's, there's, I mean, he's, you're a great singer too. I am. And, well, no, I, that sounds wrong. I'm not a great singer, but. But no, you can, you can sing. You sound good. And the, the other thing that you have is, is that, um, and I know you've, you've, You've had some valleys, like we all have Ooh, in boy. your life. Yeah. But also, you've been pretty agreeable as far as, you know, you know how to, for lack of a better term, you know how to, like, sell yourself and your brand. You have to. Yeah. You know, you have to. It, whether you're a vocalist, whether you're a harp player, guitar player, you have to count on yourself and Christ. You know, that's, I do, man. I'll pray before I go into somewhere. I prayed before coming down here. Holy Spirit, please help me keep my mouth shut. <laughs> well, and here's the thing, is that you weren't always like that. No. There was a time in your life where, where uh, I mean, I, I, was, don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but you were a bad guy. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was, yeah, I got in a yeah. lot of trouble. Yeah. So you were um, with the Hells Angel Motorcycle Club and oh, Gallop and Goose. Goose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was actually going to bring one of the club pictures of that, and I thought, man, I'm not going to, I'm not going to exalt that, you know? But, no, 100%. But the truth is, is... Um, I had a lot of displaced anger, you know, Nate? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was raised in a family with an alcoholic father that used to beat us kids and uh, my mom. And uh, that's why I joined the Marine Corps, actually, uh, get myself straight and kind of get my attitude on. All they did is just pumped up my anger even more, you know. I found out, wow, I can hurt people. All right. <laughs> <laughs> which, which uh, you know, what's funny is that... <laughs> There's there's been a few times there's been a few times where we played a few shows where we well, could use that. Well, I was going to say the the knowledge without the execution yeah. of it was handy. How about that? Yeah. Um, and to that end, um, <laughs> oh Lord help us. Um, yes, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. To that end, um, you know, there's uh, one of the wonderful things about music is it brings us together. Yes, it does. And I I had a revelation one time through my own valley moment, is that there's all kinds of lonely. For every shade of blue, there's at least that kind of lonely. Very. And some lonely is... I write that down. For, I actually wrote a song about it. I was like, oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. beat me to it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You can write one too. <laughs> uh, but the, um, there's an angry lonely. Yes, there is. And, and there, there's, a, um, there's a, uh, a give up kind of lonely. And boy, I, you know... There's with, a useless lonely. You, yeah. can, you, just, you just feel useless. Yeah, and so, which is funny because here's, here's a funny thing. So I meet Lane. Um, I am now, you see, we're going back. Golly, 15 years? Maybe. I'll bet it's at least 15 years. Yeah, Nate. yeah, and, and I'm just thinking, so, so I had, um, I was, let's see, I, I had not yet taken the worship leader job at no. Revolution Church. No, we were meeting over at the hotel. Um, I was working at Palin Music Center in Columbia, Missouri, and a gentleman named Richard West who is just a wonderful character, an absolute character is a word. delightful human being. <laughs> I love you, Rich. Absolutely, we do. He comes riding up on this awesome white Harley Davidson. Yes, he did. And looking like a complete rock star. And, yes, he and is. And gets off his, and like, kind of, almost like <laughs> storms into the music store. It's like, I need an acoustic guitar and a wireless system right away. You know, something like that. <laughs> you know, and anyway, I guess his got stolen, and he yep. was on his way to go play somewhere. And yep. That's how we met, and he's such a character, and I couldn't help but just loving the guy instantly. And so, long story short, he ended up uh, inviting me out to this church in Sturgeon, Sturgeon Missouri, yep. Missouri, called New Beginnings, and, and Lane and I met for the first time. It was awesome. Yeah, and and I, I grew up listening to, you know, my dad introduced me to Willie Nelson, and, and so to me, harmonica was always a beautiful instrument. And my dad, my dad's probably watching this right now, and my dad would, would play harmonica, you know, not like you, but he, he would, and you know, he yeah. would play just for the enjoyment of it, right? Yeah. And which is great, right? And he would, 
that sound to me was always comforting. It and is. so when I met you and the first time and we were playing uh, praise and worship music and with an improvisational leaning to it. Very. Yeah, you know, following the spirit, as they say. And so to that end, for me, here in Lane, playing harp on something like that was really amazing. And like all of a sudden it's like, well, we're, let's just play more shows together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Lord just opened the door. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. That's how I met Alec was through you. Alec Davis, yeah. what, a, what a great talent that kid yeah. is, man. So Lane and I played a lot together. And um, there's, there's a, actually, there was a young lady named Jesse Johnson that Lane and I played a show with. It's, and the video is, I kind of found it lurking on YouTube the other day and I was blown away. And, and man, that was a killer performance. My brother John is playing bass. Yeah. And uh, this guy named Jamie was playing cajon cymbals and like all this percussion. It was beautiful. Yeah, it yeah. Really and we we kind of had this acoustic band for a second. Anyway, I'll, I'll put a link in, in, the, in the video in this episode for that. But Lane, right now, if somebody's going, gosh, what an incredible guy and how in the world did this little tiny instrument unlock all these doors? What's some of the first stuff when you started picking up a harmonica that you started playing? Like if you were given a quick lesson to somebody, like even like on a C harp or something yeah. like that, just like yeah. th that first harp. Yeah. And by the way, why do you like Special 20? I like the Special 20 because first of all, it's a, it's a plastic comb, not a wood comb. The problem with the wood comb, and don't get me wrong, for you down hard for the original sound, yes, but that comb will swell and it will actually throw the tonality of the harp off. So you want to stay with the plastic comb, the metal reeds. Mm. Nate will tell you, you can break a metal reed. <laughs> no, he can break a metal reed. I've watched him do it. <laughs> Do that, little, do that little thing you do, that little high beep, beep, beep. And the ring goes, Wee. I've seen it, it's amazing. Yeah, if you could do that on command, we could like, that could be a whole thing. Watch Just this. Go out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, okay, so first first couple licks. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, what I want to do, if you're right-handed, you're going to blow and draw off the left, and not blow and draw, okay? Blow, draw. But yep. you're, what you're doing is, you're doing it off the left side of your mouth. You want one single note. Go to the middle of the heart, the five hole, now, to do that, to get that bend, everybody's always, how do you get the bend like that? It's, you work your mouth. So you're changing, you're changing your embouchure, like your, your lip shape. Yeah. While you're doing it. Now, which, which holes was that? Just okay, that was five, four, three. Five, four, three. Yeah. So, so if, if we were writing this down, it would be five. With, Five's the center hole. Yeah. Five, four, three. And I'm just doing that to show you it's one note at a time. Everybody goes, I can't get. They're getting a lot of that. Well, the reason is you're not putting your tongue in place. You've got to draw specifically off one side of your mouth. There's other techniques where you open your mouth. There's also techniques where you're using both sides to draw with a block tongue in the middle. That'll come later. Uh, call me, I'll give you a harp lesson. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> these guys know how to get a hold of me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like the 20, it's durable. A lot of people that play on the road, they play a 20 because it's a very durable harmonica. Uh, Lee Oscars are a good harp. I cannot take away from them guys. Uh, you can actually replace um, um, your reeds, which would be kind of cool for me. Uh, Ever since I've known you, you've liked Honer? Uh, Honer 20s. Honer 20s. Yeah, and the blues harp, Honer 20 blues, yeah. Yeah, 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 and, and uh, now there's a special 20 and then there's the blues harp, but the blues harp has a wood comb, It's right? a wood comb. You don't yeah. like the wood comb. I don't, yeah. now yeah, some yeah. people do because it does give a little bit, ton the t tonality is different on the harp, yeah, you yeah. know? But it will swell on you. Uh, yeah. that'll, that'll pick up a little moisture and then it'll start swelling. Uh, but yeah, I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with, I like this because I'm kind of a speed player. I like to play my stuff fast. Uh, going to blues, I'll even, I'll even try to put a fast lick into a, a blues lick just to be different, you know? Yeah, let's, let's, let's play something together. Um, what, where are you in right now? Oh, uh, that's a C. Uh, why don't you do something? You, got any, you want to do an E or A? Let's do an E, just for fun. Yeah. I'm playing the A. One or twenty. No, you're doing A because that's the cross. The cross stop. It's a fourth away from me. Yes.
Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it got me there. There you go. Well, Lane. I love you. I love you too, man. Very much. And um, your dear friend. Yeah. Same. Uh, and I, uh, I'm really glad you're able to do this. So right now, um, there's somebody that wants to get started playing music. Maybe not even just harmonica. Yeah. And let's say this person is, you know, I mean, they, they've worked hard their whole life, and they're just picking up music for the first time. And Somewhere in, to relax. Yeah, and they're maybe even in their retirement yeah. years. Yeah. But they get frustrated because it's not, they're not getting the return on investment in terms of time. How long have you been playing music? Golly, since I was like four, five, six years old, yeah, you know, right. I've and always they, had my hand on something. Right. And they hear that and they go, well, it's too late for me. It's not. I talk to guys all the time, uh, especially people that want to play harp. They'll come to me and say, man, I would, I've always wanted to play harmonica. You know, I'm getting ready to retire. What a great time to sit down, turn on the old record player that you want to play or the record player. Wow. I'm never mind. The, 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 the phonograph. The cassette. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> No, seriously, to, to blow a harp, to, to play a harmonica, it's a great time to pick it up. It's, it's a way to relax. Guitar is the same way. The one thing you don't want to do, and I run into this all the time, you'll go on your price of harmonica and go, whoa, I can't pay that for a harp, harmonica. And you buy this cheap little plastic thing, and you're aggravated. It's the same with a guitar. you got to buy something pretty decent. There's a midline, and, and Palin's great about setting you up for this stuff. I mean, for the beginner, they got the classes, everything you need. But it's same with harmonica. Buy a decent harp, even if it's only one, two, or three harps, you know, those three, I would suggest the three of them because you're not going to just play the C harp all the time, you know. Uh, I try straight style. You'll try cross style. Um, they've even got it, once you get to playing, they got chromatic harps that you can just have a blast with. Uh, but Palin, they supply it all. Now, I didn't ask you for a sales pitch. I'm but you sorry. did it anyway. <laughs> I love Bless you, bro. Sure. I know, I love you too. <laughs> so, what about that guy or gal that's sitting there that's been just slugging it out? and they're in a valley right now, and they're like, man, I, I can't give up on this music dream, but also I just don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. If you could just encourage them just a little Be bit. Be glad to do that. Right now, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a little bit of a valley. Uh, my wife and I was diagnosed here uh, last year with cancer, both of us. And uh, you know, I know a name bigger than cancer, and mm. it's Jesus. Um, I'm a believer, and even in my shows, the band will tell you, I play with a band called Chillbone the American Band. We have a great YouTube. We've got all kinds of videos. Check us out. But uh, I do. I confess Christ from the stage, and the reason I do that is because I would not be here today if it wasn't for Jesus. Um, anyway, uh, if you're in this valley right now, I just want to encourage you that there is a light. There is a light out of that valley. Just trust in Him. And picking up a, a, an instrument is a great way to commune with Christ, you know? I mean, he's the creator of everything. He's the creator of the music. Back when I was a worship leader, Lane came to me with this song right here that you wrote. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> if you feel like you could sing it. I think I can. And then maybe play a little harmonica on it. Yeah, I would love that name. Now, the one caveat on this is I have not played this song. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, when you came in this morning, I, I, I saw you and I remembered that song and I thought, man, I, I wonder if I still have a chart for that. And I went on my, I went on my uh, email. I get the right chord. <laughs> and um, I had this in G. Is that, is that what you do? Yes. And I had it as a straight, the way these are. That's great. Yeah. Um, you going to do that intro? I'm going to make sure I got it right. Is this right? Is that the right tempo? Yeah. Is that Lord, I grow weary. Let's start with that verse, okay? All right, you got it. Here we go. As I walk the straight way to my home, Lord, I grow weary. I'll never be alone With each step I take Draws me nearer to your shore Where I will be with Him Who reigns forever I will hold the nails God hands that 
I love the one who wore the thorns upon his head And I will cling to the lamb that was slain Yes, Lord Through his arms of love he bids me once If you need help right now, I'm just going to pray real quick, okay? Heavenly Father, I don't know the one this is for. I felt the need to pray this. But I just pray right now that you will find perfect peace. And you'll, you'll find that, that, that gift that God's given you. I know you feel that it's in you. It's there. And don't look at the circumstances. My word tells me that he will command the storm to cease. Peace be still is what Jesus said to the storm. And I just thank you right now in the name of Jesus that it's not an accident that we're here, we're here today. I praise you. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> I had no idea that we were going to end up I here. had no idea either, my friend. But um, you're a good man to ride the river with. I mean that. Yeah, I love you. Man. I love you too. Yeah. Bye, everybody. We're living life the best we can, and some days we do a little better than others with the guitar <laughs> in our hand. I want to apologize for everything I may have said. <laughs> <or written anybody. laughs> no, you're fine. Hey, listen, we do this every Saturday morning. It ain't always like this, but this is what it was today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time for another Chords and Coffee.